UNL Extension Beef Veterinarian Richard Randall talked with us this week about a potential problem in Nebraska's grasses. Reports across the Midwest show cattle suffering from ergot poisoning. All animals are susceptible to ergot, but cattle are most often affected. And ideal weather for the problem may match the conditions this state experienced earlier in the year. So ergot poisoning is a problem caused by a fungus that invades seed heads of certain grasses under certain climatic conditions. What kind of grasses are you typically finding this on? So usually it can be several grasses and cereal grains. Rye is a common, uh, uh, commonly infected, but it can affect smooth brome, uh, wheat, barley, uh, wheat grass, any number of grasses can be affected if the climatic conditions are right. Why is it a concern for a beef producer? The fungus produces uh, a substance that causes problems with the uh, uh, cardiovascular system. So it causes the small blood vessels on the periphery of the body to constrict very severely, basically shutting off blood flow to certain areas of the body. Uh, so it can cause, depending on uh, dosing and timing, it can cause uh, uh, multiple effects just from the standpoint of uh, interrupting uh, appropriate blood flow. There have been some problems. How widespread have they been? So we've been seeing reports coming in from all across the Midwest this, uh, this spring and summer. Uh, and recently there's been a couple of reports in Nebraska of some cattle suspected of, of having ergot poisoning. Is there any survivability to it or uh, is it 100% uh, mortality? Yeah, no, typically uh, if we recognize the signs early and remove them from the, from the source of the, the toxins, uh, if they're not too far advanced, they can, uh, they typically can uh, uh, turn around and, and overcome it. Uh, the types of things that you'd see, again, basing on, on the level of uh, infection that the cattle get, uh, certain things like the uh, tips of ears or the tips of tails may uh, drop off from lack of circulation. Uh, as it gets a little worse, uh, often you'll see the feed involvement, so we can see some lameness in cattle. Uh, we can see some swelling around the tops of the hooves moving all the way up uh, uh, to the fetlocks and it typically more commonly affects rear legs so uh, in worst case scenarios you could see fetlocks beginning to swell uh, and and if severe enough you can actually see some loss of some some hooves. What should a farmer or rancher be looking for and if uh, he or she finds it what do they need to do? Well the ergot typically confines itself to seed head so what happens if we have a if we have like we had in Nebraska uh, earlier this year at least in parts of Nebraska uh, an area of cool wetness early spring followed by some pretty significant heat uh, then that fungus will invade those seed heads uh, and, uh, and that's where they sit and produce their toxins. If you were examining a field, for example, where the grass was allowed to mature to the point where you see the, where they have seed heads, you can examine that and those uh, fungal elements will typically be a, a dark brown, purplish to black uh, replacement of the normal seed head. Um, and if that's the case, uh, then it's a, it's a possibility that it could be there in significant enough levels to, uh, uh, you know, to cause a problem.